Hello, everybody. Welcome in. Welcome into tonight's live. If you, this is your first time here, hi, hello, welcome. My name's Tanya. Titanium Bill, either or. My fan's blowing on me. I feel I feel weird that my hand, my my hair is blowing in the wind there. But um, if you're new to the channel, we do talk true crime daily here. And if that's something that you're into, we'd love to have you subscribe to the channel. Become a Titan too. So we'd love to welcome you in. Also, if you're a returning Titan, welcome on back for yet another live. We're here again. I had to schedule this one a little further out because there was just there's just new stuff coming out um, like every minute, it seems like. So I was trying to get everything together for you guys. So let me know if um, you guys have heard anything, saw anything, if you know anything about this case, because I figure for the people that don't know a whole lot, we're going to just kind of do a timeline and then get caught up with tonight's updates because we do have some big updates. There's four people arrested. Hate to be spoiler alert, but we got them. So let's see who's all here. Hey, babe, by you, by you, babe. Hmm. Welcome in. Hey, ladybug. Hey, Jan. How you doing? Hey, Mary Beth. Hey, Catherine. Welcome in, everybody. Hey, West. <laughs> Lisa. I hope I didn't skip over anyone. Curious Kit. Because sometimes I do that. I don't mean to. Lenora, Lisa. My hand just goes real fast. Where's that picture of? Um, I don't know where that was taken. Um, it's just the one, like one of the main ones that they had online. Hey, Mr. Rosebud. <laughs> they gave him a secret identity left. Oh, I thought you meant you really had someone with you, but maybe you do. DM. <laughs> hey, DM. Hey, Lenora. Welcome in, Rhonda. It's good to see everybody. Hey, Otto. Welcome in. Is Aries here? We are summonsing Aries. Ladybugs build beans. It's not a real good day for the war, though, I heard, so he might not, might not not feeling very good. Oh, that's me. Look, hello to me. I was restarting my computer. Hey, Jana. Hey, Cheryl. If I missed anybody, I'm sorry. I was just kind of, hey, Linda. I was clicking on names. <laughs> hey, Spilled Beans. Welcome in, everybody. Hey, Steve. Seen Steve in the beginning. Wow. Hey, T. Salas. T. Salas has been catching up with this case, she said, it looked like. And if you're watching over on the Unfiltered channel, welcome over there. That's the unfiltered side of this channel. Um, I am streaming over on there, though, just to have both channels kind of flowing, just to see what it's like. Hey, Lisa. I do. Uh, Alicia. Lisa. Alicia. We have an Alisa in here, too, though. CJK. I always feel like I get that one mixed up. Hey, Tammy. Hey, Pink hey, Pancakes. And then there's another Tammy. Look at that. we got Tammy's everywhere. Hey, baby girl. Hey, Catherine. Okay. We're getting out to the bottom, I think. Roseanne, welcome in. Hey, Aries, there he is. Hey, Ashley, I just wasn't at the bottom yet. Okay, I'm going to go to the bottom here. Hey, Richie. Hey, Randy, welcome in, everybody. Welcome in. Rhonda's here, Sharon's here. We got the whole crew, hippie chick. Well, welcome on in. Somebody cash out, bro. Hey, Nina, Yvonne. Frenchie, what we got here? Um, it's starting to go to the bottom, I think. Okay. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome on in. If you guys don't mind, you know, we like to ask you guys this at the beginning of the live. Hit the like button if you don't mind. I mean, you don't even know if you're going to like the content yet, but we ask you to do it in the beginning. So if you don't mind, it just pushes us out into the algorithm and then more people will flow through the chat. So can't beat that. At least I'm honest. You know, I can say that. We can always say that I'm honest. Um, let's see here. Okay. What's this? Oh, did they put them all into one? Oh, they did. Okay. I was really nervous. Oh, my. <laughs> I thought that it deleted all of my tabs for a minute. It just put my two tabs together. Okay. There's just a lot of tabs going on. Um, I'm just going to fix something really quick. Because I have like Idaho stuff. For like the Idaho case. And then for Preston Lord's case, like I have them. I had them in a separate tab or a separate window. Okay. There we go. I think this is where we need to be. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. I was just making sure. What a great thing she would accomplish by doing this. Now the kids lost their mother, their grandmother, and their dad is in rehab. Yeah. We called it and we didn't want to. We didn't want to say, I didn't want to say grandma because I was afraid if I was wrong, that would be, that would be a bad, that'd be a bad look. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it, there's a lot to go through. There's a lot of stuff coming out too. So, um, Hopefully you're up to it. Put your feet back, kick back, relax, say hello to the person above you, below you, all that fun stuff, you know, that we tell you to do. Well, I tell you to do that. 
Um, if you're watching, like on the, like I said, on the unfiltered channel and you want to come over to this channel, just go to at titanium built, um, over on YouTube and you'll find us over there. Um, if not, you can chat over on the unfiltered side. Um, but since we already gave it a few minutes, we got everybody in the chat. We'll go ahead and start, um, on our giveaway or on our, um, live tonight. I was going to tell you about our giveaway. So we are going to do a giveaway here, um, in a week or so. I'm just trying to see what we should like, what, how we should do it over on the other channel. Um, we actually on both channels, we hit 500 subscribers on unfiltered and we hit 15,000 subscribers over here last night. So that's amazing. So we're going to be doing giveaways very soon. Um, just within the next week or so. So make sure you're looking out the community tab. I'll make sure that I put everything on the community tab for you guys too. So it's a little easier, you know, to find. Hey, smelly story world. Still beans on. I think I said hi to you. Where are the children? That's Linda. That's a really good um, question. That's a good question. I'm pretty sure that they, I don't know if they were with her after this or if they like took custody of the kids, like right then and there, you know, um, kind of like with the Ruby Frank situation, like they didn't go back to dad. They just, you know, they, they took the children. Um, but I'm not sure of where the kids are. So if anyone knows, let us know. We'd love to know. Hey, Bart, welcome in. Always hit the like before the live even starts. I have never regretted it. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. You won't regret it, I promise. Um, so let's see where we want to be. Okay. Let me go over to my notes because I had to write out some notes tonight because there was just stuff coming so fast. I was like, wowza. So we we're going to go over this case anyway tonight because we've been covering this on the channel, but um, some stuff came out and I was going to go live earlier, but I was like, I'll just wait. So, cause I, th I thought maybe they'll do a press conference and we'll get lucky. Um, and we'll be on our live to where we see it. Hey, Pandam. Hey, Solo. Hey, Albine. Welcome in everybody. I'm looking um, at my other screen, so I might not see everybody. <laughs> Web Weaver, I just saw that you put Jan. I just <laughs> there was Veronica's dad in West Virginia. Thank you, Jan. That makes me feel better but they're safe. Okay. With mom's dad. Okay. That's good. Nina. That's good. That's good to hear. Okay. That's good. Cause you know, um, <laughs> the way the police rolled in to pick them up, I thought the children might've been there because there was just so many officers and I was afraid that the children were there, but that's good news. Yeah. No press conference. Not, a, not as of now. I mean, we would think we would have one now. But Oklahoma is that different time than Eastern Standard? Yeah, it would be. Is it? Is it? Cent it's Central, so it's really eight forty-eight there. Um, I'm not sure how late they do press conferences, but they did do a press release. So um, we'll go through that if nothing else. But today marks two weeks since the two women, the two Kansas women, went uh, missing out of Oklahoma. They are Jillian Kelly and Veronica Butler, um, ages thirty-nine and twenty-seven. They went missing, like I said, two weeks ago today. So that was March 30th and they haven't been seen since they went, basically they went missing on their way to meet up with Veronica's children's grandmother. And that's who Tiffany Adams is the mother of Wrangler Cole Rickman, which is the father of Veronica's children. Um, and he has, he had custody, I believe of the children, but his mom had custody of them at the moment because he is in a court ordered rehab and Veronica was busy trying to get the children back in her care. So they were to meet at four corners gas station. It is literally the, um, I would never go there. <laughs> I would never meet someone there. Hey Ivy. Um, they, they, and I'll show you, I'll show you that video that we showed last night. It's like 20 seconds long of them. Someone going past the four corners gas station. It's literally a desolate area. Um, but they were there to have that as the designated spot to meet. And I don't know why, but that's where they had it. Now I'm wondering if grandma picked that spot. And that's what we were wondering last night. Do you got, I mean, maybe. Okay. Thanks, Jan. I'll, I'll check it right now. So I don't forget. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I have that one. Thanks. Thanks, Jan. Yeah, I have that one up here. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm just going to kind of go like through the whole thing and then we'll go to the press release. But yeah, I have that one up. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And I'm surprised I saw that in the chat. <laughs> did I say hi to Ivy? I was going to say hi to her, but I don't know if I did. Hey, Sandy. 
It was the halfway point, but it's just like there's other gas stations in the area. There's like a Valero, like one of the modernized gas stations. It's like not too far from there. So I don't know why they wouldn't meet up there where it's more well lit. There's security cameras. I mean, I don't know, especially because Veronica was going through hell with these people. It seems like. It seems like they weren't have they didn't have a very good relationship. And I mean, any of them, <laughs> the grandmother or um, the father Wrangler. And I'll probably just call him Wrangler. Saying his whole name is a lot. I don't, I, I'm not assuming he goes by his whole name, but he might. Okay, so these are the ladies here. Um, basically, what we're going to go over tonight, I'm just going to, like I said, go to kind of like from the beginning to like the new end, like the ending. Well, it's not the ending. It's the beginning of a new chapter, we should say. But basically, um, Veronica was trying to gain back full-time custody of her, of her two, um, two children, who I believe they're three, or I'm sorry, five and eight. Um, since her ex, like I said, was away in rehab, she was in the process of going to court um, to do just that. And they were actually supposed to be going to court very, very soon. Um, she was going to get full-time custody. And um, from the looks of things, she, she was going to get it. I mean, she didn't have custody of her kids because she didn't have a stable place to live. Um, and there was one other thing. It wasn't anything bad though, but it was like, she didn't have a stable place to live. So that's why the children were taken out of her custody to begin with. Um, but she had a business and she had a reliable place to stay. Um, so she was, you know, doing everything, checking all the boxes to get her kids back. So Basically, um, you know, like I said, on March 30th, Veronica and her supervisor, um, they went for visitation. Um, and before I get to that, let me actually, actually, I'll, I'll keep doing this and then I'll get to this document. Um, but they're supposed to, you know, meet up in the Four Corners gas station to meet up to pick up the two children. Julian Kelly went um, as a like chaperone for the children. Um like a court ordered supervisor of so, like sorts. But instead of meeting the grandmother, Tiffany, their car was found about a thousand feet off the roadway. And OSBI came out and told us that the state found blood inside of the car. And on the outside of the car, there were two puddles of, um, of blood. So we heard that last night. Sorry, I thought my camera was on. We heard that last night. And um, right away after we heard that there was two puddles, we kind of all assumed that this was going to be pretty bad. Now, I've shown you guys this document before. This is the document that Veronica put against Tiffany. And this was filed last year on November 8th. And she alleges a lot. Um, basically, that. The children, um, right, let me just read some of them to you. The last, I'll read the ones that I feel like are important, but, um, the respondent Tiffany Adams has had exclusive possession of the minor children for the past several months and is withholding them from both parents currently. This is not in the best interest of the children and is in violation of the court's ordered orders. Um, the father of the minor children, Wrangler Cole Rickman, the son of the respondent, Tiffany Adams, has himself posted on his Facebook account about his mother withholding the minor children from the petitioner and himself in violation of the law and the current order as outlined in um, and gives the, the order number. And then this one, the respondent, Tiffany Adams, has yet to date filed any action for grandparental visitation rights, nor has she filed any action to procure guardianship of the minor children. As such, her possession of the minor children is in violation of this court's order and the laws of the state of Oklahoma. So basically, she was stealing kids. She did steal the kids on another document we read. Um, but it's different than kidnapping. Child stealing is considered like when your um, guardian does it, but she wasn't the guardian. So I don't know why she got away with that. It's just weird. Yeah, it is Sandy. I don't think that neither of them are. I mean, I wish that they were. Hey, Ashley. Um, 
team is synonymous. I think that, I mean, it would, wouldn't it be amazing if they were though? I mean, but puddles, I mean, what was it? Four liters in the body. If you think, I wonder how many you can lose. I should know this. I lost enough to have to get transfusion, but hmm, I don't know. So I want to share this with you guys too. It's just um, kind of gives you a perspective of how Wrangler, what Wrangler thought of his mom and how their relationship kind of went. And so we read this the other night also, but I'll read it to the people that have that haven't seen it or weren't here since we're kind of, if you're just now joining us, we're just going from the beginning kind of to towards the um, end to the new developments. Cause there are some big developments in this case. And we've been covering it for a while on the channel, a little while, and we want to make sure we get everything correct though. Um, but if you have any questions, let us know in the chat and we will try to make sure we answer them for you. Hey, serious. Welcome in Siggy. Um, the defendant and the plaintiff have had a telephone conversation that took place extremely recently, September 22nd, 2023, wherein the plaintiff admits that he never disapproved of any of the supervisors that the defendant had chosen for her supervised visitations and that it was his mother that would make that decision and he felt compelled to listen to her. Now, I said this last night, why didn't she like some of these supervisors? They supervise like visitation, the people that would come, you know, um, and why did she let Jillian come? And how many times does anyone know how many times Jillian had went with her for visitation? That's what I'm kind of wondering too. Cause the family haven't, they haven't been talking now. Maybe they will. Um, it says here that the plaintiff further stated that he had been threatened numerous times by his mother, that she would, you know, K I L L him shoot him in the head if he didn't do what she told him to do, that he would send the plaintiff copied and pasted text directly from his mother as if it were him, that the plaintiff believes his mother has copied cops in her pocket. I don't think she does. I'll show you how many cops showed up at the door. Most importantly, the plaintiff admitted that he believes that his mother coaches and has coached the subject minor children before dropping them off with their current counselor. And it's redacted. So... And I don't know why it just says current counselor. It doesn't say mom and counselor. Maybe they just dropped them off with just the counselor. I don't know. That's kind of, it's kind of a weird one. Um, but welcome in. If you're just now joining us, welcome on in. If you guys don't mind taking a second, smash that like button, you know, work real hard over here. Just kidding. I love doing it. Um, so I want to show you the video of four corners where they were supposed to meet because y'all, um, it's something else. <laughs> so this was, um, put on their Facebook group. And we looked at this last night and this place is so desolate. Like I feel like going to someone's home would be better. <laughs> like meet up with one of the farmers, you know, that are in the area. Like this place is so creepy. Just, I mean, just the looks of it. I would, I don't know. Maybe they are used to it. She went to school in the area. Maybe it was no thing, you know, for gently or, um, Sorry, Veronica to go there, but I don't know. To me, it's pretty, that's pretty scary. So let's play through this really quick. And if you guys haven't seen it, um, I'll play it a couple times. It's only like 25 seconds long. And it's no sound. And like, I'm going to pause it. Like, look at this place. There's the gas pump. I mean, there's not even a roof on that building. Oh my Lord. Very spooky. I don't know if she was trying to get there or he. But we'll just take it back. So it looks like there's like a four right there. I'm assuming that's for four corners. So it's kind of spooky. To me it is anyway. I mean, look at the car out there. Look at that car. Those cars are super old too. They're like station wagons. Those things are like from the 70s. Have they been out there that long? How long have they been out there? I mean, just I'm just curious now at this point. But yeah, that's the gas station. And then their car was found, you know, down a little bit. And then it was found like a thousand feet off of the roadway. And so we were speculating before we found out. I mean, and they still could have, I guess, done this. But we were speculating if they um, were 
maybe just pulled off to the side of the road and then something would happen there and then the car was set back further. But it looks like everything kind of happened right at the car from what we're from what I'm gathering. But it's literally, you know, I saw it in the middle of nowhere, desolate area. <laughs> we had one when I was a kid. I think my mom had a, they had a station wagon. We didn't have one when I was a kid. I'm wondering why. I'm wondering why my dad didn't get one just because of Christmas vacation. Because he would. Um, so let's get into tonight's updates because they're pretty big. <laughs> Um, so investigators have arrested four people tonight or today, April 13th. If you're watching this on a different day, um, than what we, you know, are live on. So the people that got arrested today are 43 year old Tad Burke Collum, which is Tiffany Michael Adams. His, that's her boyfriend. That's her boo. So he's 43. Tiffany Adams is 54, 50 year old Cole Earl Twombly or Wombly. I'm, I'm going to say Wombly. And 44-year-old Cora Wombly, married couple. I hope they don't have kids. Bet you they do. They were arrested in Texas and Camaro County. I'm not sure if I'm saying that one right. Um, by Chimero, Chamron, Chamron, Cameron, Chamron. I don't know. We'll figure out the counties later. But all four individuals were booked into the Texas County Jail on... We got charges now. I don't know if you guys have heard the charges because we... They just came out like right before I came on live and I was like, what? So a couple hours ago, an hour or so ago, they didn't have any charges. And now they are all charged with two counts of first degree M, two counts of kidnapping, and one count of conspiracy to commit M in the first degree. Now that is a lot. I wonder how Wrangler Cole Rickman is doing right now. I wonder if he knows about any of this. Can you imagine if he'd had no clue? Oh my Lord, I'm mercy. You know, like mm, M for hire, but they were there. I mean, apparently they helped. I don't know. They're all getting charged with the same thing though. So they could have been there. They could not have been there, but can you imagine your friends? Like, okay, your, your, your friends, your couple friends, you know, like they're, they're couples. They come to you. How would this even go? Hey, squeaky wheel. Like, how would this go? Like, oh man, I really just, need, I want my grandkids. And do you mind, you mind help me unalive the mom and her supervisor? Like who says, yeah, sure. Let's do this. Like, do you get them drunk first? Then ask, like smoke a little, then ask. I mean, I would have to be blown away for someone, for me to ask for someone to ask me that question. I would have to be, I would have to be in a different body because I wouldn't do that. But you know, it's just, it's crazy to me. Criminals. They're so smart. Hmm. Well, I heard, um, I didn't know, I didn't know that she carried a firearm squeaky, but I do know that the boyfriend got in trouble for having a firearm or he, um, intimidated somebody with it. I'll see if I can find that too. So grandma, we called it, we kind of called it. We kind of called it. Unfortunately, we did. Oh, no. I'm not able to, but I'll put them up here in just a moment. Oh. Um, I don't really need that now. But that was from last night. But let me um actually go back over to that. Because just in case they do have any updates. Okay. Nope, not yet. It doesn't look like, but we'll, we'll keep an eye out. Cause I know news nation has been covering this like super bad or super, you know, they've been crazy on this case. I want, I'm, I often wonder about this subject often. How does it come up in conversation? Yeah, me too. Could be people for sure. Yeah. Like, I mean, how do you do that? Like you just like kicking your legs up on the recliner, you know, just chilling out, looking up at this guy. I, I just, I mean, if if oh, if the son didn't know anything about it, that's I mean, that's going to be a hard pill to swallow for him. I mean, your mom and her boyfriend, and then you know that those two Wombleys, they had to have been pretty close friends. I mean, really close friends. So, 
they were probably like second family to the son. I mean, he, man, this is a messed up situation for real. But grandma, we called it. Um, this is the police today when they were on their way. Or there's a thing, I think this is at Wombly's maybe. Not as many cops there as there was with the other ones. <laughs> I think actually, um, I think she put out a few. So let me see. And I'll read over the press conference or the press release. So I think this is the newest because she kept updating it. The little video they had. Okay. I'm trying to uh, take it back. Okay. Let me share this with you. Okay. So this is um, Na uh, Nancy Liu from News Nation. She's been there. Hey, fuck. Um, she's been there since what? Three days ago, four days ago. She's been holding down the fort. She's like, I'm not. I'm not leaving. She, I don't know. They knew something was going to break or something. So um, all the Wombloos lived on the grandmother's property. Ooh, CJK. I didn't hear about that. Do I think Wrangler was in on it? I personally don't think he was. I don't think he was. Um, like the, pay, I mean, the documents we even, we even read, he, he said he had no problem with her having visitation rights. He had no problem with the visit, um, the supervisors that she had had before it was more of his mom saying like, no, she doesn't approve. And that's just weird to me. Why, why does your mom even have a damn say so in your child's life? I mean, I'm, I'm, that's grandma and everything, but grandma ain't tied too tight there. Obviously grandma has a lot of property. I like how we're calling her grandma. We're not, even, we're not even calling her Tiffany. I feel like we need to call her something else. Like, cause grandma is too good for her. But I'm going to play through this video. This is the cop showing up now. <laughs> if the Calvary was like this coming to get me, best believe I'd be walking out the door, hands up. <laughs> Don't shoot. Like they were prepared. They must have been, they must have known for, for a while that that's why there was no other news agencies. Like they said last night, News Nation did. There's no other news agencies were covering it. The families wasn't talking Normally the family will still talk, you know, um, they must've just known that, Hey, we got this investigation going. I think the cell phones may have pinged. I pray to pray to God that they, if they did unalive these people, these women that they're with their cell phones or, you know what I mean? Their cell phones would be dead by now, but maybe there's still a way to like locate the proximity where their last ping was. But I think that's what they're going to go off of. Like the last ping on their phone is probably putting them on, on this property. But I don't know why they, they would have had to transport them. So how would they have transported them back to the house without getting evidence everywhere? Like biological evidence, you know? Unless they had a truck. That's really, I mean, you're driving all the way back with two people, or I mean, in the area. I don't know if they went all the way here. You know, I mean, they could have went somewhere else, but. I don't know where they went. They could, they probably didn't go somewhere else, but they went there to arrest them. They even got the dog. So this is like 49 seconds long. I'm going to play this here. The kids, they are, I believe five and eight. This is like a new year, beginning a new year. So they might be um, a little bit older than that. One, one child was born in 2015 and one child was born in 2018. I don't think they really talked on this. But look at all these officers. They're, they're telling him, go back. Go back, buddy. We don't need you here right now. Look at, there's the house. So it's like one of those houses where like the garage is nicer than the house. Like the pole barn. You know, you know that. Nine and six. So they were like, they already had their birthdays this year, Ladybug. I didn't know if they already had a birthday, April. I saw that, Jana. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that they know. I I don't know if she posted that because they said puddle of blood last night or if it's because they know something more. I'm assuming the investigators said, hey, with this amount of, you know, BLOD, I'm trying not to say too much. Um, there's no way they could have survived or something, maybe something along those lines. I could see that. Did he have a pig farm? Oh my God. They were, we were talking about that last night. T. Salas. Oh my Lord. 
We were talking about that last night. We were looking up if it would eat clothes because someone said on the news it wouldn't eat the clothing. And I was like, yes, it would. And we looked it up and it said it would. And it was like retired detective or something. But look at all these cops. Look at him. He's like, ha like all the weapons. I mean, they ain't messing around. They, you don't see a little patrol car anywhere, do you? <laughs> no, not one. These are all like, it looks like SUVs. Like they're not messing around. Look at that. There's the cars. Can you imagine? Oh my Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. It's given me, it's given me like <laughs> the willies just thinking about having that many cops up to my house. I mean, I would never do anything like this, but you know, it's just crazy to me. It's, this is, this is like, Oh, one of those cases we were like, I was praying that we would hear something really soon. Like so hard because, you know, they needed it. Can you believe that KDP? Can you believe all those charges? We just went over them. Yep. Yep. We just went over them. I actually just read them out. I'm going to read over the um, press or the press release for you guys actually now. So that way you'll get a more of an understanding. I read off the names to you, but now that you see them on paper, they may actually be, it might be a little bit easier for you to, to read them than hear them. If that makes sense. So this is the official press release from the OSBI. I didn't make this up. <laughs> this is an official document um, for immediate release, you know, has their seal and everything. Okay. So four arrested in connection to Texas County disappearance case. This says for immediate release, April 13th, 2024. On, so Texas County, Oklahoma, on March 30th, 2024, the Texas County Sheriff's Office requested the Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigations to investigate the suspicious disappearance of 27-year-old Veronica Butler and 39-year-old Jillian Kelly. Can you guys tell me in the comments if you know, why do some, why do some um, states have like OSBI, TBI, but I don't think Ohio has one. Maybe we do, and I just don't know it. But let me know. Does every state have one of those? I thought it was like their version of FBI. But let me know. Um, their vehicle was found abandoned near Highway 95 in Road L, south of Elkhart, Kansas, in rural Texas County. And I showed you the last few lives um, where their car was located. OSBI special agents immediately began investigating the vehicle and determined there was evidence to indicate foul play. On April 13th, 43-year-old Tad Burt Collum, 54-year-old Tiffany Michael Adams, 50-year-old Carl or Cole Earl Wombly, and 44-year-old Cora Wombly. Why do they all have middle names except for her? Were arrested in Texas and Cameron, I don't know how to say that, counties. All four individuals were booked into the Texas County Jail on two counts of first degree M, two counts of kidnapping, and one count of conspiracy to commit M in the first degree. The OSBI and local law enforcement are still currently working to locate the two victims. Anyone with information regarding this case is asked to contact the OSBI at tips at osbi.ok.gov or at 1-800-522-8017. Our agency would like to thank the Texas County Sheriff's Office, Federal Bureau of Investigation, Oklahoma Highway Patrol, Kansas Bureau of Investigations, Kansas Highway Patrol, and several other local agencies for assisting us with this case. We are protecting Oklahoma one partnership at a time. Okay. So grandma, yeah, my dad didn't have a middle name, baby girl. Yeah. My mom, my mom used to say, cause my dad grew up like really poor <laughs> and my mom used to say they couldn't afford one. That's why he didn't have a middle name. Shame on her. Shame on her. Shame on you, mom. <laughs> pretty funny. <laughs> Still pretty funny. I'm going to grab my drink and then we'll move on to the, um, the pictures. Is everybody ready to be scared? I just noticed this, but I think dude's smiling underneath of his uh, mustache to the right. You let me know. But these guys, man, they don't want to be there. They're all thinking shit. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. I mean, 50 years old, you haven't even lived your life yet. And now you're going to be living it behind bars. These are the four. I wonder how much drugs you got to be on to do that. I mean, really, what do you have to do? What do you have to be on to steal your grandchildren? That's what she did before. And then 
I mean, everyone knew she stole them. Why would she go and do this? It's like, come on now. We all knew, you all knew we're going to be looking right at you. We're, we're looking at you guys. Well, not the Wombly's, but that's why I'm not an investigator. Investigators were. Oh, yeah, they look real rough. Um, let me see if I have that pulled up. I believe this one is the Wombly's from what I'm hearing. They've seen better days. I've seen better days. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see. Okay, so Tad Burt Colum here, dude that um, is dating Wrangler's mom, Tiffany, grandma, he had gotten um, this charge and it's feloniously pointing a firearm. And I said to myself, well, what does that mean? Because I'm curious. I'm a curious person. Hey, Stephanie. You know, I'm just curious. Hey, Deborah. I don't know if I said hi to you. Girl must have said she would, must have, yeah. Pro, I, I mean, you know, there was money. There was something in this for the Wombleys. They definitely, there was definitely something. There was definitely something um, for them. But he got feloniously pointing a firearm. And so um, this was back in July 31st, 2023. All right. That's what, that's the hearing. Sorry. Um, let's see. August 28th. 2023. How's this? Wait, hold on a second. Oh, that's what it said for. Let me go down here. I'm sorry. I should have known this part. I don't know if I could tell you when it happened, but um, I can tell you that the dude feloniously pointing a firearm at someone that's not good. Um, but I did look it up and I believe it wasn't too long ago. Oh, thank you. Bye, you babe. Oh, thank you, Roseanne. Thank you guys. I appreciate that. It happened on the live last night and I was so excited that it happened with you guys like on the live. Because when we hit 10,000, I was in American Eagle. So that didn't really count, you know? Like, I, I did, like, a video right away, but I don't know. This is just, it was good to say 15,000. Um, In Oklahoma, though, it says feloniously pointing a firearm is a felony that can result in up to 10 years in prison and a fine of up to 10,000. Now, I wonder what is, like, what he um, ended up getting for that, like, jail time-wise. I'll be looking all this up and getting all this paperwork for us too because we need it speaking of which i'm going to look at the um preston lord one they they keep telling me that it's on the way but we're working on it i don't like that i was trying to see if maybe it would they furthered it out so it, they were supposed to do the proceedings july 31st they put it to july or august 28th stated he needed time to hire an attorney because he went without an attorney to his first court appearance because he's a dumbass and he's like, oh, I need to get an attorney. Can I get a continuance? Because he didn't want to go to jail. He didn't want to go down right then and there because he's probably on drugs. He just didn't want to go to court or don't want to go to jail right then. So he said, I need time for a lawyer. And they have to kind of give it to you. They give you a couple of continuances before they say, eh, you're kind of done with continuances. It usually takes a little while. I know, Jan, we hit 15K last night. It was so exciting. Oh my gosh, it was. I was so excited to have like be on the live with you guys when it happened because you know that's special to have you guys here while this is happening. Um, let me see what's going on over here on News Nation. They're just talking about Israel. I mean, I don't really know a whole lot about it, but it sounds terrifying. Um, and the Concadias are coming back. Maybe we'll watch that at the end. Oh, I hate bugs. I hate them. Um, let's go over. We'll go over here and check it out to their discussion group. I'll refresh the page. For some reason, it only gives you like so many um, like posts to see and then it's, the page stops. Does anyone know why they do that? Is that like a thing that I don't know about? I don't know a lot about Facebook. I mean, see, I've got a hundred messages. I mean, really, it's bad. I haven't even said thanks for happy birthday messages back from October. That's the last time I was on Facebook for anything other than this stuff. So let me know if you guys know. Thanks, Mel Mac. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, I know. 15,000. Can you believe that? Can you believe that, Cheryl? Man. If you think about it, I think about it, um, not to get distracted, but I do, I think about it as people. Like I try to put that many people in an auditorium or something. That's a lot of people. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Oh, no, you're fine. Peace out. Um, so this is their 
missing um, discussion group. They, oh, they have their pictures on there already. Wow, they're fast. Um, this is for Veronica and Jillian, obviously. They put this group together um, right after it happened. There was a couple ladies, I believe, that put this page together. And they've been actively out there like searching and doing all that. Um, they do have this. It's private. The group is. I just had to um, ask to join. And they. I'll, I don't think I'd ask any questions or answer any. Maybe just to be civil or something. You're like, oh, yeah, we'll be civil. Um, so if you want to join it. And then is this the same Cole and Cora? Looks like he had a good celebration yesterday. Maybe not so much today. That looks kind of like him. A big thank you for all the wonderful B-Day wishes. Birthday wishes. Got to dance in the front yard with the lovely and gracious Cora Wombly. Have cake and share the evening with our new daughter-in-law. In love or in-law. Maybe. I don't know. Either way. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. That's so disgusting. How can you even have a party knowing that you just took the lives of two children's mother and a supervisor that had nothing to do with anything? I mean, neither of them did, but you know what I mean? Like Veronica's like, that's one thing, I mean, you know, but then to throw in Jillian, like, I mean, she's, she's like, a, she's just a preacher's wife helping out. And Veronica's just trying to get her life together to get her kids back. It's sad. It's a sad situation. There they are again. <laughs> <laughs> this was two hours ago. They posted that. That's so, man, that's so ridiculous. Like, with the dog. I'll take the dog. What are they going to do with the dog? They have an autumn. But they do have four arrests. And these are their mugshots down here. We just showed them. Um, these are the four that are arrested. Let's see if I can. Um, I'm going to grab their names, but I'm going to look over here. So 43-year-old Tad Burt Collum, 54-year-old Tiffany Michael Adams, which is the grandmother. The ta um, our Tad guy, he is her boyfriend. And then Cole, Cole Earl Wombly and his wife, Cora Wombly, were also arrested, and they're 50 and 44. So the grandmother... The grandmother's boyfriend, I don't know how long they've been together. And then they got their two buddies to help them with this whole thing. It's crazy to me. I can't believe they could get. I really want to know how they had that conversation. Was it through text messages? Because they're probably dumb. I bet you Google search. What do we got? We're going to have something. They're going to come out with something. They didn't did a Google search or got lost going home and had to use the maps. You know, people. People do things like that are just dumb like that. Is it true their daughter turned over evidence? Oh, I don't know. Is it? So. Oh, okay, never mind. I was just seeing if it was anything. I don't think it was. So. Be careful of what you post and doing lives from search area. There are moles on here. Well, um, hello, you have to tell people where you're searching because that's stupid to not tell people. You could get hurt. Five hours ago. Y'all, Jillian's mother just introduced herself in the comments of one of these recent posts. I like to start this post specifically for her and for Veronica and Jillian's family members and for you to share your prayers and words of comfort with them. I won't tag her. I'll just hope that she finds her way to this post. Oh, I forget what her mom's name is. Let's go to the newest ones, maybe. Or maybe this, the top comments. I think these are all just prayers. But look at all these people. Look at all these people just praying for them, you know? Oh, my Lordy. It's really, it's beautiful to see that. Wow. Wow. That gives me goosebumps. Who is this? Oh, she was just writing that. Okay. I'm just trying to see if there's anything that we needed. Issue a call for kindness. Oh. Man, it's sad. There they are. 
I wonder how big or how heavy that sign is they're holding. They got their inmate numbers on there. 235, 233, 234, probably, or 232, probably, maybe, or something. Because all their numbers in the beginning start the same and at the end. They're the same at the end, and then they change up in the beginning. So 233, 234, 235, maybe 236. Yep, 236. And then these letters are all the same. Oh, it's because that's the date. The date, and then, I don't know, the 235, maybe it's their number. Not a very long one, though. All those are pretty. Oh, wow. I'm going to go over to News Nation again and make sure there's nothing there, too. I mean, they're saying, they're saying, like, puddles. That, to me, just, you know, isn't good. Hey, Callie. That guy's trying to be Which one they all are. The one looks like he's smiling. This this guy, uh, Wombly or whatever. Does he look like he's smiling or is it just me? Like, look at his eyes and, like, you can see that thin lip underneath that stupid mustache he has that they're going to make him shave off. Hmm. I don't think you can have that in jail. Um, I'm going to say no. I'm going to go ahead and say no. So just go ahead and take that mustache off there, sir. I mean, these people are, I don't, I can't believe, I can't believe it. That, I mean, that worked quick. That was quick. We literally were just talking about this last night, like, sorry, grandma, but you know, we're side eyeing you. And I don't like to side eye people too much because, you know, I mean, I, we could be wrong. But in this case, it was like, grandma. My life was probably pretty funny if I go back and listen to it now. They won't be smiling during meth withdrawals. You got that right, DM. And you know they were doing something crazy out there. You know they're going to find some stuff in that house, around that property. I mean, I does. Oh, I'm about to say. I'm going to go back to those pictures. Um, this guy don't look like a farmer to me, really. I mean, you know, he don't look like he wants to wake up at the crack crack at dawn, like go till some land. Yeah, he does look smug, Harlow. Yeah. Crime ages. Yes, it does, Cheryl. But they're not all, none of them are smiling. They're going into general population right now. Well, I don't know. Maybe they'll put them segregated. Is this considered high profile? I mean, I would think so. I would think that they wouldn't put them in general population. They would get their asses kicked because the women are still missing. They, I think that the guys would try to, to beat them up and get it out of them personally. But I don't know because jail is different than prison. Jail, like people are there for a very short time. So they don't usually mess with each other as much as if they're in prison and they're there for the long haul. You know what I mean? They're like, what's another charge? So they may go ahead and put them in general population. Yes, that's what they were. They were the um, Soviners. I don't, I don't know what it's called. You guys were in the chat last night where they like don't follow law. Like the, you know, oh, Caitlin, dirty beer. Oh, Oh, you gave me that. I, the, I got the smell visual from that. Can you imagine what that thing smells like? Oh, my God. Oh, they're going to make them shave it. They, I mean, because they they're going to have to de-lice them. That's the first thing you get when you go into jail. They give you the, the lysing bath. Here you go. Here's your clothes. So, Varen, I don't know how to say that. I don't know why I can't, citizens. So, Varen, yeah. So, they didn't fall. I, I mean, like, that's, I don't even know much about that. Oh, look right here. It says, oh, um, what is that? Wait, what? what? We'll go back. Where am I at? This is an immunity. I put an immunity. I didn't mean for it to do that, but. What is this? Hold on a second. What is this thing? Like this, these people. <laughs> Now I'm like really like um, curious. So what do they what do they call themselves like? Citizens, Soviet citizens, so surveying. I don't know how to say it, guys. I'm probably saying it all ass backwards. I was trying to see what they were um, like the definition, you know. 
So it says here that they are um, a, they're a movement. It's a group of people in the United States who are anti-government activists, tax protesters, financial scammers, and conspiracy theorists. I'm just reading from here. Some examples are um, tax protesters, financial scammers, and conspiracy theorists. Wow. Okay. So this is going to be a trial that we're going to want to see. Sovereign. Sovereign. Am I saying that right now? Harley, <laughs> you're so good at like helping me out. You guys are all good at doing that. Like spelling it out. And I'm just like, oh, you know, and I still get it wrong sometimes. <laughs> I blame it on my eye. I'm just kidding. I don't. I don't. I don't. <laughs> just me. Wacko is basically, yeah, Tammy. So this is going to be different. This is, oh my Lord of mercy. Look at him. Yeah, he does look a lot older than 43. Damn. And then hold on, let's see. 43. She's 54. Oh, yeah, she looked like it. She'd be looking like it. That not, that's not even a face a mother could love. Um, he is 50. Smiling mother trucker. Look at him smiling. He, I can't wait to see him without that beard or mustache. Um, and then we've got Cora here, and, and she's 44. Man, they look a lot different than, you know, over here. And she's got her hair done, her makeup done. Look at them. They picked out them shirts together. That cool shirt she's wearing. Betcha. Betcha they went to the mall together to buy that. No mall anymore. Sorry. Gone. It's bye-bye. I'm just, I'm on one now just because I'm really upset. Like, I don't understand how, sorry, my name is it just, um, and what is it just on the side? Um, I just don't understand how you could get two other people to go along with this plan. Like, I want to, I, I can't wait to find out what they were going to get out of this. Were you, were they going to get the house or the farm or the house that maybe they're living on, on grandma's property or, um, money? I mean, they don't pay taxes. Apparently they don't like to pay taxes. Sometimes people that look like pretty rough, they have like a lot of money. You think money, T's house, money. I think they probably have more money than we think. They probably got a whole damn distribution center out there of something. I mean, you know, a lab, uh, a greenery farm. <laughs> I mean, something. It has to be money. There, yeah, there has to be. It has to be money. I mean, what else could it be? I, I don't even know. I just feel really bad for those kids. They're old enough to like remember things, especially. I mean, eight years old, five years old. I remember stuff from when I was like four years old, four or five. I can remember if it was something traumatic, I definitely would have remembered. But I hope, you know, I hope that uh, these kids get justice. <laughs> we all look different with our makeup on. We do, Robin. We do. I usually do my eyelashes and my eyebrows. And that's about, <laughs> that's about it. The squeaky as much as they can afford. Yeah. I wonder... Um, I don't know if they, I don't think they are, DM. I don't think. Money does talk. Money talks. I mean, uh, I mean, <laughs> I can't even believe it. I, I really just cannot believe this whole thing. I really thought we're going to go after grandma. It's going to be, end up being like raffickers. But then, I mean, I know that it's known out there, but I just couldn't see it. And I just could not see. I'm like, how did they get them off the side of the road? So I was looking it up and I was going to go that route tonight. Like on this live, we were going to talk about, you know, trafficking and, um, you know, how it, people get people to pull over off to the side of the road. I just wanted to look into that because I was like, maybe that's what happened. And then, um, today around what, two or three o'clock, maybe a little bit after that four o'clock, uh, they're like, Hey, we got four people arrested. And I'm like, Oh, well, first it was grandma. And then it was four people. And then they had all four names out. And I was like, and then they had charges. And I was like, we are getting it all today. 
so they do. I know they had a court order too, or court was coming up for the custody. And I'm assuming that's probably what set this off. Yep. That's why the swap reacted. Yeah. They, they needed the swap. Oh, people are scared. Well, that's what his, that's what her son said too, that she had cops in her pocket. Do you think? Steve, you're not scary looking. Oh, T. Salas, you are rocking it, girl. You are. You are, though. No matter what. <laughs> Compared to them. Pig farms are not good. Sorry to say. Yeah, so that's what we're hearing, too, that they had a... Man, is that true? Do you think they did? Oh, my God. This will be... If, if that's the case, I don't think we've had a case that that gory since Gannon Stauk. That's, I mean... Hey, good grandma. Garden City, Kansas here. I'm in shock. I can't believe this. It's like Waco. Yeah. It, it, it feels like it. It feels almost like um, like the Hatfield Hat and McCoys. Like we've talked about before on this channel, um, Pike County Massacre. Those two families. Um, one family of five, unalived. Another family of eight, all in one night. They lived on a compound kind of in Ohio, where I'm from. Not where I'm from. I grew up a 30 minutes from the area, but yeah. Your wife's from Oklahoma. What's a fender? I'm like looking at the chat. I'm like, I thought you guys were talking about, oh, you're, oh, we're talking about someone in the chat. Oh, okay. I thought you guys were talking about, I, I saw the name. I saw the chat, but I didn't see the name at first. And I'm like, what? Do you play guitar? That's what it sounds like. And welcome in, Joseph. A bunch of psychopaths. I mean, how many can you name? Four, maybe five. Update Citizen Sleuth. So basically they arrested four people in connection with the um, disappearance of Jillian um, Kelly and Veronica Butler. I'm trying to pull up their pictures for you real quick. Um, Nancy Liu on News Nation broke the story wide open. We've got these fools here. If you guys haven't been here to, you know, um, to get caught up, we'll get you caught up real quick. So the grandmother was involved, grandma, she was involved. So today they arrested 43-year-old Tad Cullum, 54-year-old Tiffany Adams, 50-year-old Cole Wombly, and 44-year-old Cora Wombly. And they were arrested in um, two different counties there in Oklahoma. All four individuals um, were booked into the Texas County Jail. And they are all charged with, and this is this is where it gets me, because if they're already charging them, then that tells me they're looking for bodies. Like, especially if we are hearing puddles of blood. And the cops told Nancy Lou, or she found out, that uh, the reason, one of the ladies on News Nation, the reason why you couldn't actually see the puddles when you walked up to the, the, like the crime scene is because the officers dug holes and like buried it all. So you couldn't see anything like it was completely buried. I mean, those officers really were wanting to keep this quiet, you know, and I think that's a great idea. They, these officers did a fantastic job in my opinion. Um, it's taken a little bit of time, but they're getting somewhere. I mean, obviously they've arrested four people. I wonder if they will um, arrest any more. I wonder if there's any more arrest. But um, they got charged with two counts of first degree murder, two counts of kidnapping, and one count of conspiracy to commit murder in the first degree. They go into jail for a long time. They're going to prison if convicted for a long, long, long time. And other than the Wombleys, because I don't even know who they are, but Grandma, we've been looking at you. We've been looking at you. And that's just because you stole the kids before. You did foolish shit. You wouldn't let the supervisors come. You kept saying, no, tell, tell, telling your son to tell them that they can't come. He had no problem with those supervisors, but you did. What was it? Did you like them? Did you feel bad for them, but you didn't feel bad for a pastor's wife? I mean, I just don't understand it. Why she have some supervisors coming unless she was just trying to get rid of all of them. And then it was to the point where she couldn't get rid of Jillian. She was just kind of there helping. 
maybe that's what it was. And she was just like, okay, she's going to then. I don't know. I don't know if they're related. Like, I don't know if the Wombleys are related, but that this the one on the bottom left is grandma. And that's her boyfriend up top. The son's in rehab, yeah. And he was um, put in there. I have the document, I think. Um, March 22nd, he went to the treatment center and he has no contact. So I don't know if when he, they say no contact, if they mean you can still write letters, still use the phone, um, and you, but you can't go outside like the the grounds or if no contact means no contact at all. I wouldn't think it would be absolutely no contact just for the fact that people even in jail get contact, like they get letters and phone calls and stuff. So I don't know. So he actually didn't have a, well, we don't know what addiction. They didn't say an addiction. He was in there for a gun charge. So I don't know how he convinced them to let him go to rehab when he's in there for a gun charge. Normally if you're in jail for like a charge and they don't care if you, um, if you like have a drug problem, do you know what I mean? They just don't care. They don't care. Let me check my text message, James. I didn't even get anything. Okay. Hmm. Oh, above the last one. Okay. Oh, I didn't see that part. Hmm. Did she put it on her own? Oh. Thank you. Thanks. So the, the children are with her dad in West Virginia. Oh, that's good news. Let me see. I have to put that there. Her name's Callie. Oh, it's a pretty name. Let me see if I can go onto Facebook real quick. It's so crazy because when you go onto my Facebook, it goes straight to the Gonzalez family tips line. Like I don't even go to my own Facebook page. It goes right to this page because I guess this is the page I go to more than my own page. I don't use Facebook, like I said. Um, but let me try to look her up. And then if you go to the side, it's all discussion groups. Sometimes I can look people up and it'll come up right away. And then other times it doesn't want to. I don't know if she's any of these though. Maybe this is it. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, let me find out where. Okay. This is her page, I believe. But I only have one post on here. Well, maybe it's because this is like a group post. I'm trying to figure it out. Okay, here we go. View profile. Wow. Just trying to find um, the post. Oh. That's so sad. That's terribly sad. Um, her, this is like her mom's page, Jan was saying. And there's so many quotes. Oh my gosh. There's the one that she was telling me about. Oh my Lord. Let me go down a little further. Yeah. We'll go through some of the quotes that she posted because they were, they were really pretty. Um, and when family members go to like Facebook and they start posting stuff like, like this, you know, um, where it's like poems and they know they're losing their, their significant person or, you know, it just makes it that much more heartbreaking. Because, I mean, she's like, right here, four hours ago, I think she's trying to come to terms. Maybe the officers told her something. Makes me tear up. Hey, Kat K. Yeah, FBI was, yeah. They had everybody in there. <laughs> they had the whole whole clan. Everybody. Um, but it just says here, you know, Jillian has passed. There's only three comments on this. That's crazy. Um, or no, you can't comment anymore. Oh, or maybe you have to be friends with her to comment or something. That's probably what it is. Where there is deep grief, there was deep love. Oh. Oh. 
I'm trying to make the best of it, but if you want to know the truth, it breaks my heart still every day to live in a world where there's no you. That's pretty saying. Um, this one was sad. And though our final goodbye came much too soon, it was the first hello that will live so brightly inside me for the rest of my days. This is sad. Man, these are really sad. They're like breaking my heart. I don't want to read them all because I feel like I'll make you guys cry. Oh, these are sad. Yeah. And then she has this. Um, let me go to it and see if it's anything new. No, it's not. It's just, um, it was an article I was going to actually show you guys er earlier, but it's, I mean, it just has the people like that were, it just says that two people were arrested. It doesn't say all four or it does say four. Let me see what this one says then. It just says four people will be processed and booked. Yeah, it doesn't say, it doesn't tell us who was arrested on this one. Does she want this? Can you like... How much are these? Not even that much, but... There's 69 for the biggest one, 43 for the smallest one on the canvas. I'm going to keep that page up. That's really pretty. And, you know, you should always have a, something, a piece of your loved one, you know. Um, and I really pray that they find those ladies. I pray to God those ladies are not in a pig farm. I hope that that, that rumor of him having one is not true. But they do have a farm there. I don't know if they were, you know. So, no, T. Sal, she wasn't found, but her, I think her mom is coming to terms. Like, with that, she's not alive anymore. I think that the OSBI, I mean, they probably told her, like, with that amount of blood she lost. Because they wouldn't, they'll know. They'll know. They said puddles of blood. Two puddles. So, um, to me, that says both of them were probably shot. And they had to have bled out for a minute to create puddles. So it was like, what were, what, where, I guess there's no cars that go by, but you can see everything for miles. You don't see people just dropping like flies and then four, four people are standing there. Like, I don't, nobody. She was recovered. Oh, let me see. Wow. We just were, happened to be on the live. doesn't say on mine okay where are you guys seeing it let me see if i can find it up here mine just says four people are you guys getting it off of twitter somewhere good you know oh man can't wait that's so bad that's so sad Hopefully she doesn't share custody. She has her babies now. Cause you know, that's scary. Like I always tell people if you're going to have, you know, if you have a child and you got to do like a pickup, make sure you're going to like a well-lit area. Um, go to the police station and meet. That's the best place. Police are not going to care. They're not going to mind if you go there to meet up, you know, switch exchange, you know, is it less sleuth? Oh, they were. Okay. Let's see. Where are you guys seeing it? Let me see if I look at the chat. Oh, that's where I'm trying to find out. Yeah. I'm trying to find out where. Okay. Let's see. I don't think. Let me see. I don't think so. I mean, I haven't. I haven't seen anything, but let me go to like Twitter, you know, cause like y'all know Twitter sometimes be getting the news before the news. Okay. Where are we at? Let me grab my drink really quick and let me go here. Okay. Just trying to see breaking news. Let's see what Nancy Lou has to say. She hasn't said anything for two hours. 
Yeah, I don't see anything. Okay, let me know if wherever you saw it, but yeah. I don't know Kara Moody. So I don't know. We'll have to, yeah, we'll have to see. But if they recovered or... Hmm. I mean, we all, I, I don't know. I think we all kind of know what puddles of blood mean. That means there's a lot ex extinguished from the body. Um, to me, if somebody didn't have medical treatment and receive a transfusion or something, you know, quickly, very quickly after losing that amount of blood, um, they just wouldn't, they wouldn't survive it. And so since they haven't found them and it's been two weeks today, I mean, that really puts me in the position to think that they are no longer with us. And that's probably what the OSBI thinks. And that's probably why the families are saying like they've been, they, they're okay. They're coming to terms. Like, you know, it says Jillian, um, like it says Jillian has passed. Like it doesn't say, you know, um, they found her. It just says they, that she passed. So I'm thinking that, the OSBI went and told her something. We'll see if she's put anything else up on here. She's just putting, it's like she's letting her heart out on Facebook. It's so sad. You know, people need an outlet sometimes and they probably put stuff on her daughter's page too. That's sad. I know. If, I wonder if we can find her. Yeah, they're not messing around. Hm. Oh, I saw this video earlier. I was going to show this one to you guys and I forgot. Like, look at them. They brought in like tanks. Like, look at those, like, Humvees or whatever they are. She admitted to shooting them and lawyered up allegedly. Wow. Oh, okay. That's, maybe that's the girl on the Facebook page. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Let me see. I think that's the girl, like, that does the Facebook page. But I haven't seen anything on their Facebook. We were just on it. Let's see. Yeah, I haven't seen anything. Maybe something will come across soon. Um, I will go back to News Nation, though, and just see if they've put in anything on there about it. Nope. Oh, today's Saturday. That's probably why. They don't have, like, Banfield there to be screaming on top of her lungs. <laughs> you think so, Wes? Yeah. If you think about it, right? Um... You have two individuals that have, I don't know what kind of backgrounds. The one guy has, you know, felonious gun charges. Um, feloniously, he was waving a gun at somebody, and that's to threat or intimidate harm. So, I mean, he's known to have a firearm waving it around. Because they're anti-government, Ellie had to be prepared. That's that, yeah, Kaylin. That's absolutely actually, yeah. Because you never know what they've got: bombs, grenades, guns. I mean, you don't know. You don't know. It could have been like a Waco. Yeah. So they, we found out with last night that there was, um, they, well, like when the officers first came out, OSBI, they said that there was like a little bit of blood in the car. I guess. Well, then last night they came out and they told. Um, Nancy, Lou, Nancy Lou found out from news nation. Um, I believe it was Nancy Lou because she's been there the whole time. She found out that there was two puddles and that the officers had put dirt and everything over these puddles and stuff and laid it all out. Like, so where you couldn't see where they were from standing there. Like, so no one knew. Um, and then what was I going to say? I think that was it. I think that was all. But I think that they, I mean, I just don't know what they put them in to take them back. Like, you have bleeding victims. I mean, like, these these wounds are, like, probably pretty bad, I would say. 
Um, I don't know if it was, I'm assuming it was just a, a regular rifle, not like a shotgun. I mean, I would hate to say that, but um, just because there wasn't like, you know, stuff left behind other than biologicals. Okay. Okay, yeah, send it to me, Jan. So the officers did that so that news crew, they wouldn't come out and see it and then know and then film it. So. I didn't see Chris Cuomo on the case other than last night. Is it like on his, I wonder if you put it on his Twitter. Because he doesn't, he's not on tonight. He's, um, he's supposed to be off. It's, uh, it's Saturday. Let's see if I could find anything on his Twitter. He has a workout with me on here. Oh my Jesus. Yeah, nope, nothing on here. I don't know. The horse trailer, you think? And then they could like spray it out, maybe. <sighs> horse trailer. That would make sense. I mean, because that could be going down the road and nobody would think anything the wiser. Do you know what I mean? But what if you didn't have it hooked up properly? And I don't, I would be nervous. I mean, I would never unalive someone, but you know, I mean, that's, that's a big risk. Now I wonder if they took them back to the house and supposedly put them on that pig farm or if they just took them somewhere different because I mean, who would want to drive back 45 minutes? So 45 minutes for both of them, because they said they met in the middle. So they would have to drive 45 minutes back with them with two bodies in the car or in the horse trailer or whatever, the truck, the horse trailer, however they transported them back. That is insane. Hey, Nicole B, welcome in. Real, oh, everyone's saying the horse trailer. What's the case where the woman's been missing for years and the wealthy boyfriend was recently arrested? Jennifer DeLuos? Uh, I think that's who you're talking about. The real pretty um, uh, brown-haired woman. She had like five kids. He's getting ready to go to prison, I think. Did we cover her case? I think we did. We've covered so many cases on this channel. I, I mean, sometimes I just look up, look into them, you know, and I don't put them on the channel. It's so desolate. Yeah. Um, now, I mean, even if they were to look on like a drone, there's so many different like cattle, like there's so many like cow, um, like, pastures out there and you can see like where the cows have walked up to like the watering holes and drank and like it just looks a lot like there's a lot going on out there even though there's nothing going on out there at the same time i think it would feel it would be kind of hard to find them but then again you know you never know crystal rogers yeah she's never been found but at least we got some people arrested there and we're, we're covering crystal rogers on the channel here we like we we're we're into that case because i mean it's it's one near me almost um about three hours away i think um let me see if there's anything else so like i said these guys are the ones that were arrested i can't believe they they got them charged and everything so apparently those officers know something now maybe they maybe they'll recover them this evening I'm, I'm assuming they'll probably stop searching after the sun goes down, you know, to, after the sun went down, but, um, and then they'll be back like in the morning to do it again. But I hope that they find them. I mean, because, you know, I'm, I believe that they're not here with us anymore. And so I hope that they can at least find them, bring them home to their families because that's what, that's the least that these girls, these ladies deserve. I mean, really, can you imagine being that preacher? That found her car, called it in. He knew something was up. And and that's kind of weird, but we never looked at him. You know? Like, I mean, because he found her car within, like, what, 45 minutes of her being gone, he was there. And she, I was like, so she must have had a plan to have him call her or her call him. And she didn't make that call. 
for him to be out there so fast because it wouldn't have been like 45 minutes and he'd be out there. And then, all, I mean, it takes him 45 minutes to get there. It was like he went right away. Brooks Hauk, Liz. Brooks Hauk is her boyfriend's, or, or was her boyfriend's name. Is, you know. This real shit blows my mind. Yeah. This is like, man. Yeah, her body's never been found. Did he? I didn't know that he offed himself, Robin. Was this recent? The grandmother told him where they were. Joseph saying it too. Wow. I wonder why we're not seeing it online yet. Because we're like on the, we're on the internet. We're on the internet, guys. Um, we're on Twitter. And usually, you know, like those things like, oh, wait, what's this? Let me see. Just says four individuals been arrested. Oh, is that what that Groke is now? It's like an AI. Kind of gives you a, a I'm feeling that. It kind of gives you like a little summary. Okay. Twitter. Okay, Elon, we see you. Um, they haven't put it on here yet, it doesn't look like. Wow. Somebody tell us. I don't want to get off here until I hear it. <laughs> Before his court date. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. I didn't even know. I saw him on the TV the other day. And I was just like, mm, you know, going to court probably. But wow. At Tad's place? Who's Tad? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding with you. So... Did they not live together, Tad and um, the mom? Two toes to lose, yeah. Yeah, that's who I guess offed himself. I didn't know that. They did? They just did a 48-hour special on it? Wow, I'll have to watch that. That's crazy. I knew he'd try to get out of that. You know what I mean? Like, the easy way. We should have known that was going to come. I mean... He couldn't live without his money. Well, man, maybe we'll have to go back over that case. I forgot about like all the, you know, the twists and turns, the girlfriend and stuff. The clutters murders. I, don't, I haven't heard of that good grandma. We have, I feel like we have a good amount in Ohio. <laughs> it came out last Saturday. I'll have to watch that. Yeah, I, Robin, I don't, I could see that. I know. I'm like, what is going on? So I've got, let's go back over here to, it seems like only a couple channels are like following it, like News Nation, like the big ones anyway. Let's see if there's anybody live right now. Maybe they'll, maybe we'll see something. We'll be like, how do you know that? We don't know. You know. Um, let's go to the live tab. See, like even everyone's like got off their live from this, but you know, we are going to stick here for a second and find out what's going on. Well, okay, she's too far back behind. She's still looking at Nancy Grace. So that's not going to work out for us. That was our first live over this case. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing anything. So let's look at another place. Let's look back to Twitter. Give us the answers. Hmm. <laughs> that squeaky wheel. It would. Actually, I would tell somebody first. That's what would happen. If I ever committed a crime, I would tell somebody. I would be dumb. So they have two different houses? Oh, I didn't know that, Steve. I thought they lived maybe the same. I don't, but I, I do know the book in Cold Blood. That sounds familiar. Wow. Maybe I have to look up how to book up again. Hi, Ladybug. I mean, Lindsay, Ladybug, Ladybug's right there. She was after you or below you. Um, let's, let's look up on it. Let's look, Google it. Um, it is five hours ago, eight hours ago, two hours ago is the one I had from us that we read. Yeah. I mean, I don't see it anywhere. Let me go back to their Facebook group. 
Oh, wait, this is a different room. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's see if this group is saying something different than this group. It looks like it. Okay, so the group that I'm in is a private group, and it has like 15,000 members. But then there's this other group that it's a public group, and it has 3.1K members, and it looks like they're saying stuff. So let me just pull it up, see what is happening, what's happening on there. Um, like it says, okay, so 12 minutes ago, the 38 minutes ago, I had a phone interview with OSBI tonight. We are still looking for both women right now because we have not found them. We cannot confirm that they are dead. However, based on the information and through and the evidence that our investigators were able to obtain during throughout the entirety of the investigation, we felt that it was appropriate to change all four suspects, I'm sorry, charge all four suspects with two counts of first degree murder. Um, that it says that's an odd statement saying Jillian's own mother confessed, but we didn't see that on our page. Do I still have it up? Probably not. I don't, but, um, let me check the, oops, whoopsie. Sorry guys. That was probably so loud. I'm so sorry. That was probably really loud on your ears. I couldn't remember the last name. Is that IE? This is it. See, she hasn't said anything on her. Wait, there's no comments on here. So I don't know why people are saying that. This is our aunt. Like there's nothing on her mom's Facebook that I'm seeing. And these three comments, we already went through them. There's they're nothing. So she just said that she's passed away. Um, this is coming from the news. I don't know. And then, but then it says here, a rancher seen, but see, this isn't like info. This isn't, this isn't like, um, you know, News Nation didn't say that. News Nation hasn't said anything. I just looked it up. Like I'm looking up on News Nation right now. They haven't said anything about this case. I mean, so maybe that's where you guys are seeing this on the discussion group. Um, but that's not like confirmed. You know what I mean? Like I can't confirm that. Um, oh, wow. That's so gross. Yeah. People are stating that this was done in front of the kids. That's disgusting. And then that, like this, like this isn't confirmed. They found one body on Tad's property. Like this must be where you guys are getting your info from. Um, you got to make sure, you know, I don't know that we're getting in the right source. I just don't see like them putting in any news. Like this is where I found it. You know, there's the news clip. Um, and nobody else is saying anything. No one thinks I don't think the dad's involved. Um, no. Like this one, yeah. I mean, there's just nothing to see. There's technical error. Wow, I don't wonder what that means. They're probably trying to delete the comment. Local news now. Okay. So both channel four and 10 have said the same thing. They're still looking and children are good. And that was three minutes ago. So there's no horse and carriage ride. There's no bodies are found. So Make sure you run and tell everybody that there's no bodies found yet. As of right now, there's they're saying that. I mean, the investigators are, news agencies are. Um, and they're not saying that anyone was found. They're not saying that the, that's just a Facebook group. So I don't know. Did you got to on this Facebook page? Whatever. Yeah. So I think that, yeah, I think that there's there, yeah. Unless someone has a, you know, a thing for me. Steve, do you have anything? Trig Gallus? 
Yeah, I'm not either. My, Steve McKay. <laughs> I'm not seeing anything either. So, um, her mom's name is Callie Dub Dubley. And then she just has those like little pretty things on her. So, um, and then there's just nothing else on that page. This page has 3.1 K members and it's a private, it's an open page. So anybody can kind of like get on there and post. I feel like when it's a private page, it's a little, um, just a little easier to keep a hold of people and like, you know, the comments and stuff a little bit more because, you know, someone says something, you just block them immediately. They can't get back in the group. So. Something about talking about Soto or Solo. Lisa, where are you getting your information from? Because if it's from the Facebook group, we just looked at that. That's that's not confirmed. Unless you have unless you could tell me and channel four and channel ten just said that three minutes ago that there was no bodies confirmed. So if you know, let me know. Cause I'm, we're trying to figure it out. I'm going to get off here. If not, cause we've been, I've been on here for like 30 minutes trying to figure this out. And I don't think that it's anything but this Facebook group. Like let me pull it back up right here. I mean, these are where people are seeing it and other people are running with it. If it's a creator, they're just probably getting it off the damn Facebook group. Um, and they're, and this is the other one, the body found on Todd's property. Like, who is this person? Let's see. How do you look at his profile? He's from Arkansas and he lives in Indiana. How is he going to know shit about shit? Like, really? I mean, how does this guy know anything about anybody? Like, I, I think these people are just like making up stuff and they're just smacking it on the Facebook sites. I mean, that's my personal opinion. That's just me. Like a rancher seen Tad's truck in a trailer by Veronica's car and called it in. How do you know that living in Indiana, buddy? Like, really? Tell me. I think that these people are just making shit up because they want attention. Every case, just like Sebastian, just like people are leaving the Sebastian case now and floating over here. That's just how it is. Just how it rolls. Hey, Pepper. That's just how it rolls. People are just, I, I feel like it. I don't know now. I don't know. You know, um, if somebody can let me know then I would, I'll, then I would be able to look it up. Cause I just think that, yeah, I, I hate when, uh, I called it, I called, I hold, I called the whole Sebastian thing too. I was like, they're going to either come for Veronica's and you know, um, Jillian's case, or they're going to go to Preston Lords and news nation went to Preston Lords and Jillian's case. I was like, look at that. And, and Nancy Grace, we got before Nancy, we beat Nancy. I think that's where it came from, Ladybug. Yeah. See, you, like you can't put stuff like that because it's not true. We don't, you're not giving me an, Lisa, you got to give me an, a news article that says that. It's the, it's their just um, one of their Facebook groups. It's the public group is the one that everyone's putting shit in because they can throw it into a public group. Nobody's going to be one that, one the riser, you know. Um, but let's see. Just now, Oklahoma Highway Patrol has canceled the endangered missing of persons. Okay. Let's see if there's anything on here that just says it's been canceled. Misfit Colt. Um, and then 20 minutes ago, just the one I told you about, I had a phone interview with OSBI tonight. We're still looking for both women right now because we have not found them. But we cannot confirm that they are dead. However, based on the information and through the evidence that our investigators were able to obtain during, throughout, and the entirety of the investigation, we felt that it was appropriate to, ch to charge all four suspects with two counts of first-degree murder. So they're saying pretty much, I'm pretty much based on their evidence and their investigation, they believe that they're not here anymore, but they can't definitively say that they're dead. Now, I don't know why they can't definitively say that. I mean, you lose that much blood. You're not seen for two weeks, you know. Man, I try to, Nicole. I really do. Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna like um, delete a comment. 
and if she puts another one in there, I'm just going to like time her out or something. I don't know. It's just crazy. I, yeah, it's like, ugh, man, mm, mm. So that's how stuff gets, that's how stuff gets passed around. It's that damn telephone, you know, because someone's going to see that in the chat. Like you guys saw it and you're like, Jillian's been found. You see how everybody went with it? Like, cause I mean, that, like, that's just how it is. I mean, that's just, you see something you're like, whoa, whoa, wait, you know? Okay. I'm going to time her out because she literally is saying the same thing over and over again. Like, I don't know why she was doing that, but yeah. See, Jan's my better half. <laughs> Thank you all for being here with the hearts when we were blocking people. <laughs> I just don't know. I'm like, what is, why are you saying the same thing over and over again? Like, are we already said that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't get it. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Pepper. I'm glad that I found that page. T. Salas was not lying. She's like, you're not getting off this live. She's like, go look for it. That's what I did. I was like, okay, let me make sure. But because see, like on the regular Facebook, like they're the one that's being controlled by like two admins. They were the ones that are out there looking for these women. So I trust these ladies a little bit more, you know? Um, it's a private group. And um, it just says here that there's, I don't see anything. There's 14,000 of us in this group. Pray and grieve with them. I will never be okay with this deplorable behavior, but I do have a soul. I think this is one of the admins or maybe, no, it's not. Okay. And let's see here. I'm not seeing anything that's confirmed. What is the connection between the Wombleys and Grandma? <laughs> so, comment of the year, someone wrote, I can't even get people to come to my house for a Tupperware party. But isn't that the truth? How would you, I mean, could you guys, do you have ride or dies like that? I mean, I got a best friend since I was two. I know I can call her if I was ever in an accident again. She'd be the first one there. You know, she'd probably beat Vincent. But I don't think that I could ever, okay, thanks, Jan. I don't think I could ever um, do all that, you know, for somebody. No, thank you. Did you find something, Jan? Oh, your canvas. Okay. Let's take a look at that. Oh, that's pretty. She looks just like you. That's your daughter? She looks just like you, Jan just like you. Oh, wow. Beautiful. I wanted that one of those made. Oh, oh, that's too young, Jan. She was younger than me. I didn't know that your daughter was younger than me. And if they do find them, you know, I hope that they, they aren't near the a pig farm. You know, I hope that they're intact somewhere. I just, I hate to say it like that. Yeah. Someone was saying that the couple rented a home on their property. Yeah. Michelle, I'm wondering, um, I think it's my hair that's making my nose itch because it keeps blowing up in my face. Um, but I think that, what was I going to say? When the story broke out, I said the couple. Yeah. I, so we heard about the couple of renting the property, but I didn't, I didn't read it, but I heard about it. JM Canvas. Is that the same place? I wonder, because it's a good place. I have a picture of me and my dad um, sleeping together and I'd like to have someone draw it for me. Um, and I have a friend that's a really good artist. I should ask her. I don't know if she lives in Ohio anymore. Hmm. There were 20 vehicles making the radio. Yeah, did you see that? Squeaky wool, man. Property had to be searched plus whatever info. Yeah. And you know that I, I don't know how much property they have, but it looks like a lot. But you would think you would find if they were buried that you would find disturbed soil, but you may not. Do they have like a new something there, a new driveway, a new, what, you know what I mean? Like, I hate to say that, but a new something, um, a new fire pit, a new anything. They're going to look, they're going to look at all that. They're going to find it. It's very disturbing. I hope that's not the case, but we have heard that they have them there. Like we've heard that from like officials too, that they're out there. And I'm like, cause um, someone went on News Nation last night. I forget who it was. 
one of the FBI people or ex cops. And he was like, they will eat the clothing. And I'm like, what? <laughs> so we went over and we looked, I looked it up and I was like, it says they'll eat the clothing. They'll eat them. Yes. Child custody. Yes, Tina. It's so sad. It's so sad. This is, I mean, I hope they come out with a press conference tomorrow. And I saw someone was talking about the road in Wagner's. Yeah, Liz, uh, I grew up 30 minutes from there. Talk about some, ooh, I mean, I didn't know them, but I knew people that knew the Rodins and I knew people that knew the Wagners, but I didn't have any connection to either family, thank goodness, because I would have been a mess. I mean, you know, um, but I, I kind of want to cover that case on the channel. It's literally like the Hatfield and McCoy's. A family of five, unalives a family of eight in one night, and nobody knows what happened for like, years. It's crazy. They took the trailers off the property. They found a marijuana farm out there. I think they were even like fighting chickens or something. I don't know. I've looked into that one, but that was a rumor that was going around. Drones are great. Yes. They'll, they'll find anything that's been yeah disturbed. But if they're, I mean, they need to look at everything, you know, and they will because I mean, it's, it's the OSBI, it's the FBI, it's all the, all the things all the things that we don't have here on YouTube. Mm, they just do, Elisa. I don't know how they know. I've seen that in movies though. And then we looked it up. But let me know if you guys have any questions. I'm going to jump off of here. If anyone would like to become a member of our channel, I'll put the link in the chat. And if you guys don't mind hitting the like button, hit the subscribe button. I do have my second channel flowing through. So um, I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh, you can on this side. Um, but subscribe to either or I'll put the, um, the channel link for my other channel in here for us. So you guys will know. Um, oh, I was like, where is it? Wow. I have a big introduction like wrote out. I don't ever say it. You guys aren't here to talk, here to listen to me talk too much though. That's the other channel. Yeah. Before defendants, someone will talk. I think so too. Therese, I hope the dad stays sober. I do too. I do too. Because accor according to the paperwork, I mean, like the the documents that we've seen, he was like, a, he was on Veronica's side. Like he wanted, you know, her to um, be able to see the kids. It seems like, it seems like it was his mom that was more like, no, we don't like this supervisor and this. And I mean, she must have been a controlling mother for her son to not even like mess with her when, she didn't like the supervisor. Okay. I'm going to go tell him that she can't be here. I mean, it's just, it's extremely brazen <laughs> of her to say the least, but I do appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to hang out with me. I do appreciate that. Right. Really do. Um, if you guys haven't subscribed that yet to the channel, like I said, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button. We are here every night. Um, usually at 9 15 PM Eastern standard time. My dog just hit the door with her nose. <laughs> That's time for me to go. Um, but I'll be back tomorrow night with another live. And I'm going to try to get in a members live in the next few days as well. So we just had one the other day. Um, and then we did a live on the second channel and then tonight. So we'll be back tomorrow with lives. And then I will be um, back soon with a members only live. So I'll see you guys all later and have a good evening. Bye, guys.